Madden 25 tournaments are getting underway here. MCS actually starts in a couple of hours, and I wanted to tell you the best regs team to use for the MCS tournament. And we're going to go in here to Creation Center, Edit Rosters, and I'm going to explain why it's actually not the Chiefs. Uh, the Chiefs are up there. Patrick Mahomes is by far and away the best quarterback, 99 overall, super good. They have these really good receivers. But with the way this game plays, in my opinion, the best team to use in the MCS tournament is actually going to be the New York Jets. And the reason why is because they have Rodgers. Rodgers is going to have uh, pass. He's going to be able to make all the throws that you need him to be able to make. But really importantly, they have this dude, Brees Hall. If you look at his Brees, Brees Hall, he has this evasive ability. This dude is going to be able to spin and juke with the best of them. He's going to get great animations. He's going to be able to make defenders miss in the open field. This backup's not terrible. Israel Abenakanda, however you say his name. Um, he's not terrible either. I like to put him at fullback in case I'm ever in a situation where I need to come out in a two-back set. I have him at fullback. Wide receivers, this is where they're, in my opinion, the weakest. They don't have a ton of, like, good man-beating receivers. The best receivers they have is Xavier Gibson, Garrett Wilson, and then Mike Williams. What I like to do with Mike Williams, actually, uh, because they don't have a ton of speed, as you can see. So what I like to do is I like to put Mike Williams in the slot. And then at the tight end position, we're still going to be rocking with Conklin. Con Conklin. And then um, offensive line, you know, pretty good. Tyron Smith, uh, former Cowboy, super good. Uh, the rest of the offensive line is actually terrible, <laughs> but Tyron Smith is a dog. Uh, and then also I want to talk about their defense. So this is actually super important because they actually have some cool stuff on defense that they can do. They have this dude, Quinnen Williams. This guy is super good because he has over 80 speed and 84 acceleration, even though he's a defensive tackle. This is huge for your double-A gap. You also have Hassan Riddick. Hassan Riddick, he has 86 speed, so he's going to be able to basically get good animations, get good pass rushing animations. Another thing is if you look at his abilities here, he does have no outsiders. He does have strip specialists, which is kind of glitchy, and then he also has edge threat. So to me, this team is super good for regs because you can you have fast players that you can put all over the field. So you have an 88 speed, like this guy Quincy Williams. 88 speed, super effective for double-A gap. Put him on the outside. You have um, Johnson, put him on the outside, 85 speed. And then I would put Williams, Williams and Reddick at the DTs. So here we got Johnson here. I'm going to put this dude, uh, Quincy Williams probably won't let me because he's probably the starting right, right outside linebacker. I don't ever use these guys, so we'll just sub him out. Like I said, I don't really use the, the standard middle linebacker uh, deal. But, I mean, look, even Solomon Thomas has 83 speed. Like, they just have, like, really, really fast players uh, on their defensive line, which is going to make the double A gap. Let's make every defense you run better, uh, honestly. They do have C.J. Mosley, who's not a – he is not a bad player by any means. 85 speed, not too bad. Uh, let's take a look at their corners. They got Sauce Gardner. They have this dude, Michael Carter. Uh, and they have some hidden gems on their team. So what I like to do with this is we're going to put – we got Michael Carter here at the free safety position, 93 speed. This guy, Ashton Davis, 93 speed. What I like to also do here was we have, we have decent speed in the secondary. Like, we're not amazing, but we have decent speed. Uh, but one of, the th one of the super underrated things that you can do this year, uh, well, you can do every year, but it's really helpful for double-A gap, is to put sub-linebackers in that have fast speeds. Fast speeds. So this guy, Bernard Converse. 93 speed going to be a good user for you and then you have this guy Adams who is 90 speed uh, if you wanted to put you know a corner at safety you could put Eshin Davis in there with 93 speed but the point is you get these fast dudes in these positions and then it really just opens up your entire defense I like to put DJ Reed at the slot corner and that's pretty much how I set up this team now one other pro tip for this team make sure you in your slot receiver position you have Mike Williams and then also make sure that in your kick returner you have Brees Hall because this dude is a literal human highlight reel closest thing to Judkins in Madden 20 uh, in Madden 25 if I can find him there he is make sure you have him at kick returner and punt returner but try out the Jets I think the Jets are really good for regs or oh I got the wrong guy here Allen that's not who I want I want Brees Hall Let's see if we can find him. He must be lower down here. 
even though he's low overall, he's going to play really good for you because he has 93 speed and he has the uh, spin move ability. So, anyways, that's the Jets. This team is super good. Probably the best Rex team in the game. I didn't go over this with Rodgers. Let me just open him back up here real quick. So, you see here he has Gunslinger and Pass Lead Elite. Really good. And then he also has Roaming Deadeye. So, you're not going to get the hot routes, but you don't really need them in this game. Offense is so overpowered in this game. So, I want to go for a better defense. The Jets are kind of the most balanced team. Still gives you Pass Lead Elite. But you also get this running back that is literally Zeus. I mean, he's super effective. And then you have a really good defense. So that's what I would do. Use the Jets tomorrow or in the ladders or in the tournaments, whatever you want to do. And if you're looking to take your Madden game to the next level, make sure you join the school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. I will put a link to that in the description down below. That's going to get you better. And uh, it's going to get you all of my offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden and for College Football 25.